In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze the boom and crash markets perfectly and make profit from the market. So with this analysis that I'm going to share with you, you'll be able to predict the market, be able to see when the market will buy and when the market will sell at a given point, and you'll be able to see a sharp entry and exit position as well as good opportunities for either a buy or a sell on the market. Right? So I'm going to show you how to do this on both the crash and the boom market. So let's start with the crash market. So we'll start with crash 500 index. So first, what we saw that this market is buying, right? The market is buying. First, the first thing you want to check if you are a buyer, first thing you want to check is how much the market has sold, right? So you want to check that. Now we saw that this market has sold up to this point. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see that this market has dropped, right? I will know that on the crash market, the market is highly volatile, right? Now we saw that this price has dropped to this point. So we'll check the one hour time frame. Now let's check the one hour time frame, all right? Now on the one hour time frame, the market has bought to this point, right? We saw a buy, and this buy has been for a very long time, right? And the market dropped here again, and now the market is buying, okay? I will see that prices are the overbought, right? Price at the overbought region. So any moment from now, the market will sell, right? So these are what you need to watch out for. This market will sell, but it will buy a little bit, right? It will buy a little bit. You know, if you are trading on the crash and boom market, if I if you are scalping, you want to scalp on the one minute time frame, right? On the one minute time frame, that's the best position for you to scalp the market and take your profit from the market, right? So we we'll check the one minute time frame right here. Okay, so we we'll see that this market is buying, right? The market has bought for a particular period of time, and this is not the best chance for you to enter the market because the market can spike, right? So we're gonna put in some few indicators to help us see how this market can go. So what we do is to add up the RSI, right? The RSI indicator. You can use it on default or you can use the setting. That I'm using right here on period 12. Apply to close the levels on 90 and 10 right here. The pixels on two pixels for the style. Use red color and this straight this line pattern that adds the half space. Then you can see the style right here. You can see the pixel which I use with this straight line here. Then you click on done. So I'm using this RSI. Now, the main reason why using this RSI, you know, some new traders won't be able to see when the market is at the overbought, right? So sometimes, you know, if I zoom out right here, now, we can see that this is the overbought here, and this is the oversold, right? This is the last zoom level that I'm using right now, okay? And if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that this price here, that price is right now, it will go to the overbought, right? So on the, on the basically the overbought is at this level of 90 when price crosses above that's the overbought when price crosses below the level of 10 that's the oversold right now if i zoom in a little bit you can see that on the first zoom level that i just did price is at the overbought already right because we're using the second zoom level right but that's not the actual zoom level for the market right so Wasn't that price is buying and this is not a good opportunity so we want to add another indicator which is the macd indicator we put it on um the first ema 13 25 10 for slow and macd sma just as you see right here then the main you can use three pixels by the color on black the signal color red right so just for um analysis now you see that we have these two indicators right here and these indicators can tell us perfectly how the market is going and can give us a better good analysis right so like i said guys this market will spike right i told you that this is not a good entry point for a buy because if you look at this point right here you can see that this macd is about this point of the of the rsi is about this point and you can see the shape which is follows like this same shape right here before the spike came through at this point so if you place a, a buy right here the market could buy for about four or three candle ticks before the spike come through because you see that this price here at the MACD is going upwards on to the level of the 90 which will result in a sell right because when that price gets to this point the market always sells on the MACD indicator right take a look at it market sold 
here again price didn't even reach this level of 90 and the market sold just as you see right here take a look at it now this is 83 right 83 if you mark it now let's check on this marking right here this is 83 so you saw that at that point 83 the market sold and here again the market will soon sell because the market has bought for a particular period of time so if you enter into the market you want to trade what you need to do is check the market structure how the market is go to the historical trend look at the market movement if the market has bought for like 10 candle tick do not enter the market for a buy because the spike will come because you know that this, the crash and boom market is always buying and crashing buying and crashing right so if you buy this market right now you your trade may result in a losing trade right you can't see that you want to scalp this you can't enter the market to scalp this market right now because what we're seeing here is that the market will soon sell so it's not a good entry point for a buy but it's a good entry point for a sell right it's a good entry point for a sell because price is almost at this level so the market will sell quickly right so that's for it now i just show you guys how to analyze the market for either a buy or a sell entry now if you want to take a buy position on the market what you do is to wait when the market has sold right the sell need to be for long like as we see right here you saw that this market sold it bought again it sold now if this market is at this point and it sold up to this point taking just three pips away taking just three candle ticks away you don't place a buy because you know that the market will sell again right the market will sell again because this market has only sold a little bit so and the market have sold the market have bought up to this point and it sold a little bit the next step it took two buys and it sold again it took one buy and it sold right now we are confident that this market has sold for long so what we do is to place a buy right because we have seen a very big sell right a very drop in sale price so we're confident that we can take a buy because this market has sold just like we saw here again the market sold taking away about six candle ticks now we're confident that this market reward this market will buy like here right here the market sold up to this point immediately the next step was one candle tick and the next step was another sell again now when you see that this market has sold up to this point if you enter the market and the market is at this position right here yeah the market is at this position right here the market has just sold up to this point you are confident that you can take a buy because this market has just sold immediately taking all the buyers profit you know the early buyers are, that was in the market the market has caught their them that sl right the market average their stop loss so the market took all the profits so the next step is for it to buy right the market for the buyers to recover back their profit right so that's a good opportunity for you to scalp the market and take advantage of small price movement for the market taking five or four candle ticks from this market right now that's a good and proper analysis for you to make profit from this market using this strategy using this analysis that i've just shared with you guys right now okay now i just showed you the macd and the rsi right the rsi will help you see the price level the overbought and the oversold clearly okay because if you zoom out let's go over to the one hour time frame right well on the one hour time frame price is at this zone the price is buying right however price gets to this point the market always sell take a look at it price at this point here right now and the market will soon sell because this is the one hour time frame just as we're seeing here and if we go to the five minute time frame price is still at this point right and you take five minutes for one candle take to be fully completed so i hope you understand what i just said guys before you place any entry make sure you check the price movement check how much the market has bought and how much the market has sold right now this is for crash markets now let's go over to the boom market we're checking on the boom 500 right here so as a trader who is trading the boom market, first thing you want to take note of is the market has sold, right? You know, when I started trading the crash and boom market, if when I see a trade like this, the first thing I'll do is to immediately place a sell because I see that the market is selling and I want to follow the trend, right? I want to follow the trend so that I'll be able to make profit, but that's not what you should do, right? That's not right and that's not the way to trade okay because when i started i saw that the market is selling i'll just immediately place a sell i want to follow the market structure right that will result in a losing trade so you shouldn't do that so now what i'm seeing here is that this market has sold 
and this is this market have been selling for a long period of time take a look at it if you check the one hour time frame right here you can see that the market has been selling for a long period of time and the next step is for the market to buy right the next step is for the market to buy okay just as we're seeing right here and if you take a look at it at this point when the price gets to this point this level of 10 the market always buy immediately so you don't want to place a sale at this point right you don't want to place a sale you only place a sale after the spike right you only place a sale after a very long spike on the boom market that's when you place a sale okay you want to analyze your market properly before entering into your trade you want to plan your strategy perfectly you don't just enter the into the market and trade because you saw that this market is selling then you want to place a sale right so you want to plan your analysis plan your strategy analyze your market structure very well now you saw that here the market stood up to this point and there was a, a little buy right this is what you need to watch out for when you see a market that has been selling for a long period of time just like here you saw the market stood up to this point the market bought it sold again it bought it sold again it bought down to this point right down to this point now that this market that is selling and bought a little bit sell again and bought a little bit this market is not a good market for you to enter into because the market will catch you in a surprise right the market will catch you in a surprise now the best way to enter into the market is when the spike has come through a very long spike that's the best chance immediately after a very long spike you take few candle ticks from the market small candle tick from the market as your profit then you wait again for another good and perfect opportunity remember that if you are training this without the use of indicators all right these are what you need to watch out for without the use of indicators right for me when i trade i use indicators so that i'll be able to see clearly on how the market moves right you know most traders don't like using indicators they'll tell you that price action is the key yeah we know price action is good when you're trading as well because if you're trading using indicators sometimes price action is good to tell you that this market is in a position whereby you need to change your strategy on the market right so i believe after watching this video you understand what i just said you understand what i said in it right so if you find value in this video do what to like and subscribe to this channel the daily forex for more awesome trading tips and strategy i will see you guys on the next video